Multiplayer is here, you can finally play with other people in the game. Let's get into more details. The architecture is as follows. The server centralizes all the data on the world state, which is all entities position, action and state. On the other side we got clients or users, or other players, that will receive and send back data to the server. In game it looks like this. You always have your player in the center of your screen, and the others will appear like you with their username below them. To do that, technically, we have the player and the player template, which are two scenes in Godot. They are both very similar, except the fact that one has a label under its own sprites. And some mechanics are a bit different, but I'll not get into the details. I'm really sad though that we have this issue where when you walk towards the destination and the other player does too, you'll see that the other player, when he reaches his target position, he will go back and forth around that position. And that's a problem within the mechanism. We'll solve that later. Thanks to our artist, we have an outline of the first city. This city will be structured in different areas for blacksmith, alchemy and many others. The goal is to make this city the first hub for beginner players to start their adventure to immortality. For the following feature, we use the game asset provided by Snoopet Dog Dog, Swords and Staff. We are using one of the smallest swords within the pack to create the Flying Swords spell. When it is activated, a shield of sword will revolve around you, and on mouse click, the swords will be thrown towards where you are pointing at. But we have a little problem here. As you can see, the sword is... <clears throat> we'll solve that problem later. Welcome the new demon beast, the Sleepy Fire Tiger. It will remain in a sleep state until you approach it. Afterwards, the beast will chase you down to kill you. However, after some time, if you go outside of its detection zone, it will go back to sleep. As of today, the fire tiger we have is the cub version. But according to the Shensha novels, we'll create an evolved version that would look like this. The system will make the Demon Beast level higher by a rank and will have a larger skill set to use as a higher Demon Beast. By the way guys, the Discord is open to the public, so you can always join it through the link here or in the description. We are always open for feedback to improve our game during its development phase. Thank you for watching this second devlog and we'll keep you updated. So see you next time on Pierce Through Heavens.